world. It's a dark night. I want to talk about today the pros and cons of motorcycle riding. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I was trying to think of what I had in mind. There's a lot of debate, and I know this is like a, a beaten topic, but you're going to have to bear with me because I'm going to beat it one more time. Uh, I'm going to beat it good. So, uh, I want to talk about the pros and cons. There's a lot of videos out there about it, what people think. This is what I want to think. I did some research about it. We'll start with the, with the pros. The pro to motorcycle riding. It's freaking awesome. Pretty much bottom line, it's awesome. There's not much else you can say about it. Two, it is, it is more uh, eco-friendly, I guess. Better gas mileage. That's pretty much the, the only thing. Uh, cheaper insurance, at least it is for me, than car insurance. Uh, let's see, what else? You build another pro. You build a better bond with uh, motorcyclists. You don't really uh, build a good bond with other people who drive cars, you know? Only only if you're into uh, like classic cars and stuff like that. But if you just drive a normal car, you know, it doesn't matter. Nobody really cares. But if you're on a motorcycle, it doesn't matter. You could have a 1960 something motorcycle or you could have a 2012 motorcycle and you're, you're cool. That doesn't matter. We all love you. So, that's a pro. Uh, let's see. Pretty much, the best thing is it's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's all of, all the pros I can think of right now. Um, you guys can list any uh, in the comments or do a video response to this. Of any you think of. I can't, I'm drawing a blank right now, but the cons to it, it can be somewhat dangerous. Uh, you got to watch out for, well at least here, you have to watch out for wildlife. So wildlife, cars, people, maintenance on your bike. So like, you gotta make sure that your tires are always good, because if your tires are bad, that could be a pretty problem if you have a hot tire. Not too good. What, what else, what else is bad? Um, in terms of cost, it is, it is cheaper. In terms of gas, and actually buying a bike, and insurance is cheaper. But here, you have to own a bike and a car pretty much because it snows in the winter so is it cost effective and not really because you have to kind of own both uh, if you live down south and you don't mind riding in the rain i would say it's probably more beneficial in terms of money the only other thing is though is a bike does not in terms of maintenance does not last as long and here we go hang on i got some bikers coming let's see if they can Oh, got them all the way, that's awesome. Maintenance, uh, tires don't last as long as they would on a car, uh, stuff like that. So you're going through tires more if you're riding it all the time. See, I, I don't ride, I only ride seasonally. So I don't burn through tires that often, unlike some people. But you'd have to do the same maintenance on a car. And probably on a car, when you need to replace the tires. You're not replacing two, you're replacing four. So, I guess that's cost, cost friendly. I, I don't really know. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys keep a list of how much money you spend? Uh, I don't, I don't really, like I said, I'm seasonal riding, so I spend a minimal amount on maintenance on, on both my car. Because during the summer, it's straight motorcycle riding. And during the winter, it's straight car riding. So they get about 50-50 uh, use throughout the year. Also, what's on the con? A gear. Freaking gear is expensive. 
I'm not gonna lie, that is probably arguably the most annoying thing to me is how expensive gear is. To start off, you gotta spend so much money to, I mean, nobody wants to be, you know, if you wanna be a squid, and it's not too bad, I know I wanted riding gear right off the bat, so I had to get gloves, a helmet, a jacket, on top of the bike, I'm still working on it, trying to get some pants and some boots, but it's just so expensive. I can't, I can't drop a ton of money on it. You know, I, I could get used stuff, but I like brand new, so I guess I got a champagne taste with a beer wallet per se. <laughs> um, but it's expensive, and modifications are, I feel, are expensive. You want to like mod everyone gets a bike and for the most part people like to mod their bikes so that way it's like their own it's their own personal bike that's what i like to do but modifications are expensive there's no thing about it so i uh think it's definitely expensive which i don't like that but that's pretty much the cons that i can think of for now um, pretty much bottom line it comes down to money uh, <laughs> the cons are some things are too expensive on motorcycle riding and the pros are it's cheaper than a car money that's pretty much what it is but I know there's probably more to it and other people do it for other reasons so list them do a vlog about it. I Like I said, it's been beating around the bush, but I'm going to beat it one more time, and hopefully this will squash it. But I just like to let people know how the reasons for why I think, more, why I kind of chose it for the benefits, the pros and cons. So that's me. Let me know how you feel about it, what you think the pros and cons are, if you have any different ones. Subscribe, and uh, I'll be back again. For now, it's Dark Knight. I'm out of here. Peace.